Hello everybody, welcome back again. Uh, I just sort of wanted to update you guys on where I've been since my apparent comeback. And just to put it out there blunt, uh, I had some minor housing issues. It's sorted now, I'm good. But in that time, I couldn't upload um, anything. And when I moved into my new place, I discovered that the two videos I had prepared to be uploaded were completely gone without a trace. Not sure how. I haven't deleted anything from the storage. I haven't. It doesn't matter. Long story short, the video is gone. Uh, lately, I've started looking more into my YouTube settings, analytics, stuff like that. And I actually realized that I had been copyright claimed repeatedly. And it was sort of why I was actually, not why I wasn't getting views, because obviously I don't get many views as it is. But it was a reason I was kind of getting blocked off from getting more. And YouTube wasn't pushing me as hard as they did before. So on my recent video, you'll see I have more views than usual. And it's because I have settled these copyright disputes. I didn't really bother getting in contact with any of them or disputing the claims. I just took out the music. I can't really be bothered. I'm literally someone on YouTube with about 80 subs. I'm not going to be able to tackle the people that were hitting up the claims with me. To describe the scenarios, we had a video recently that had an outro at the end. If you go back, you will notice that the outro is now silent. That is because it was a song called Lucid Dreams. I don't remember who it was by. Not Juice World, I can tell you that much. And they, despite the music being in this suite that I use, Share Factory on PlayStation, decided to copyright claim my video. So I just took the music out, just muted it, and moved on live, really. Um, <clears throat> then I scroll further down to find out that the Marshmallow concert from all those years ago in Fortnite had been mass claimed not obviously by Marshmallow, I'm not claiming he's you know, trying to start a beef with me it was obviously automatically done by his people but I kind of just couldn't be bothered to take up any of anyone's time, my own or theirs just to go, oh but this is a Fortnite event, can you please not take all my imaginary money because I don't get money from videos, obviously. So I just put the video privatized, and the second I did, views started to roll in, and it, my channel was back to normal. Um, you'll probably see a pretty clickbait title and thumbnail. I, you know, I got to play the game. It is what it is. Um, but obviously, I am aware. Before anyone comments it, yes, Marshmallow did not personally decide to copyright claim my video four times for each song he played at the event. But yeah, that, that's it really. I just sort of wanted to update you guys on where I'm at, where the channel's at, because again, I claimed I was making a giant comeback and then immediately disappeared five seconds later. But I am actually back this time making content and I need to, I will be honest, I need to actually find my ideas. I had them all written in a notepad that I use for work and I've completely lost the notepad. So I, I'm kind of stuck for that at the moment, but it is what it is. I'll, I'll sort it out. I'll, yeah, I remember a few of the videos. Um, I remember the ones that completely disappeared off the face of the earth. And I'm probably gonna record those in a moment. I just, like I said, point to update you guys, let you know what's going on and why I made a comeback and then disappeared again for a month. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'm still let it play out. It's just a victory on Fortnite. If you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. I appreciate it if you watched it this far. Uh, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.